This NVIDIA drama just doesn't want to end. And I have so much I want to get off my chest. I really want to go on a rant about NVIDIA because it is really pissing me off. And I'm sure it's pissing everybody else off too. Who is even attempting to try to get a RTX 50 series card. But before I even get into about this whole RTX 5070 mess, I got to talk to you about something else here. And this is about NVIDIA's GB202, specifically because of their issues with ROPs missing. We gave a brick, well, well, we might as well give it black hell because their GB202 is having some issues because apparently there is a small batch that are missing some ROPs inside. Oops, how'd you manage to forget that, NVIDIA? That's not really that important, is it? You're only gonna lose about 4.5% of gaming performance, hence you're gonna lose even more performance over time naturally because the GPUs do wear. But anyway, before I even get into that part of it, let me tell you what's going on with GB202. And this isn't just necessarily a very specific manufacturer. This actually goes across the board. So G if you're not familiar with GB202, that is a Blackwell's chip that is specifically for the RTX 5090. So it doesn't just fall under a certain umbrella's name. For example, I'll throw a manufacturer out there just like MSI, Zotac, all those manufacturers are getting, say, pointed fingers at for this issue, but it isn't just them. This is just going across the board, including the RTX 5090's Founders Edition is also running into the same issue. Specifically, they're finding it through GPU-Z because their BIOS is actually telling them something different. Apparently, it is a small batch. If you're not familiar with what ROPs are, they're render output units. They're pretty important because they are used to create a pixel. They deal with textures and smoothness. Most importantly, the higher the resolution, the better the ROPs better be because that will also give you the better performance. Hence why it is important, not just on the graphical standpoint when it comes for gaming, but it is also important when it comes to other tasks such as say content creation or graphic design. The renderization is really important when it comes to graphics cards. Now, do I honestly got a list why the RTX 5090 is one of the worst launches? And no, I'm not hating because I have all of RTX's cards. I have all of Nvidia's cards. The only one I don't have is the 50 series. And I'm pretty glad that I don't currently and unfortunately, I'm still going after it because I just want to mess with the card. And with all these problems, uh, it's hard to justify spending well over $2,000 on a card, especially on a aftermarket AIB, because this card better improve, especially when it is released. For those who didn't get it, just be thankful you didn't get this card because you don't want to run into the different issues that people are running into, such as melting ports, such as missing ROPs, blacked out screens, which I'm going to get into a little bit because that is still a ongoing issue, even with the newest driver, 54247, which was a update from the RTX 5070 T for the RTX 5070 Ti, which is sp supposed to make the card more compatible. When to just go on a quick tangent, it kind of pissed me off because when I went to update this driver just to update it because I have to have the newest driver, right? It blacked out my screen, but luckily it turned back on after it resets. Eh, I, I really honestly don't know what's going well on with NVIDIA and hence why I mentioned why AMD could really possibly take this round. It is looking pretty rough, especially for the RTX 5090. I, I honestly feel bad for those who dished out over $6,000 on a RTX 5090. Well, I shouldn't feel so bad because they're helping out the scalpers, but for those who did dish out that kind of money just to run into this type of issue, man, I can't, it must feel terrible because mention that if you do purchase it from a scalper, more than likely your warranty is probably not gonna be valid, but if, even if you are, you might have trouble just going through this whole warranty process. But anyway, let me go back to the ROPs. If you are purchasing a RTX 5090 and you somehow have a chance of 
looking at the ROPs before you purchase it. Take a look because you want to make sure that they're all there. Some of people might argue, hey, not all the ROPs are in the card. It all depends on the silicone lottery, but that isn't true. These cards should have them standardized, especially when it comes to ROPs. That is one of the most important functions when it comes to a graphics cards. And make sure you do check it out, especially if you're dishing out well over $2,000 on a card. Definitely do so. Do your due diligence because you do not want to just be throwing money down the drain. Because honestly, you could have got away with getting a RTX 4080 Super or a RTX 5080 instead. Because then, at least their ROPs aren't missing, right? But anyway... Uh, let me go into the R whole RTX 5070 Ti tangent because I managed to attempt to try to purchase it, right? And I'm sure all of you notice it who tried to purchase a RTX 5070 Ti. For those who got it, congratulations, thumbs up, because all those people out there that did get one, that's awesome. But for those who didn't, or for those who were really, really cautious, you had to notice that when you went onto a website just as like Newegg, because they were the first ones that posted it yesterday. And when you did, the first ones that were posted were not the lower MSRP ones, meaning the ones that weren't just over MSRP, like $749.99. But the ones that were posted were $829.99 at the lowest, just say. And then you mostly saw $999.99, which you could buy an RTX 5080, which makes no sense. And then you can, and then there were other cards for $939.99, as I mentioned in my prior video. All those cards were certainly up for sale and for dibs and for grabs. But for some reason, it was a lot harder to get your hands on a um, one, a card that was uh, that was $749.99. But it was funny because towards the end, after all those cards sold. I was almost tempted to buy one that was at $939.99, but I just chose not to pull the trigger because honestly, it's not worth it. I don't want to spend $939 on a RTX 5070 Ti, and you shouldn't either. But anyway, right afterwards, after all the cards sold out, Newegg had the dignity to put up a, a Newegg shuffle. And you know what was up for shuffle? The ones for $749.99. Isn't that ridiculous? There was two cards, the Asus Tough, the Asus Tough RTX 5070 Ti, and it was MSI's RTX 5070 Ti for $749.99. They had the shuffle going, but that was your only chance. But they did manage to have a restock, and when they did, guess what was up for sale? The one that was up for a little bit over $900 USD. Now, that's pretty ridiculous. Best Buy, oh, that's like a, an apocalypse that hit that site because you have a little to no chance on getting a card off of Best Buy. They say they do everything they can to get to filter out these bots, but that's completely false because they used the same exact technology that they've used five years ago. You don't think people already have bypassed that system? I mean, even back when PlayStation 5 was out, they were using the same exact system and people were still getting around it. How do you not know this? And the same goes with every other retailer. A micro center had a ton of RTX 5070 Ti's. If you were able to get one out of there, that's awesome. But unfortunately, at the micro center at my location, has a very high chance into running uh, into scalpers because that's just what they do here, especially in Miami. For all those that live in Miami know this. But anyway, it's just a real pain. But to step off of this tangent on top of it, I was supposed to go live tonight, Friday, but instead of here I am, I posted up a video for everybody out there, but uh, I had to post up a video instead. And there's a reason I did not receive the goods that I thought I was going to receive today, unfortunately. But I will still be going live on Saturday morning. I will be talking to everybody out there. I can't say for sure what it is yet. I don't even really know myself. But once I get it, I am more than happy to open it for you guys to see exactly what's inside of these goodies. I do have some news for those who were lucky to get a RTX 50 series because for those who are the ones that are experiencing these black screens. Now, this isn't just the RTX 50 series. 
This also has to deal with those who had some blacked out screens, even with the 40 series or even the 30 series. They are experiencing it with these drivers. As I mentioned, I ran into that same issue when I just updated to the uh, 542, I think it is, 542.47 it's at now. I had a blacked out screen. Luckily, I restarted my PC. It was fine because, again, for some reason, it acted real funky with that driver. Now, for those who are experiencing, you're not getting any display, but your PC is turning on and you're having an issue with power. NVIDIA did mention this issue. I, I mentioned this a couple of videos back about this problem that people were running into no display. They were not getting power out of their HDMI. They weren't getting power out of DisplayPort. Everybody complained to NVIDIA and NVIDIA said that we will look into this issue. But thankfully, somebody named Miguel they did bring a mention today about this issue and they said that NVIDIA is continually investigating the situation. More than likely, when they do send out a fix for this, it's going to be a driver update or a BIOS update for the video card. More than likely, it's gonna be one or the other. More than likely, it's probably gonna be a driver update. What has affected a lot of the cards at the most. And there is some temporary fixes out there um to really fix this issue if you are having this display issue if you are just hanging there nvidia supposedly is working diligently on working on it there was a ton of notices sent out to nvidia about these render output units about them being missing on the gb202 and yet there hasn't been a word of course i'm sure we're going to hear something pretty soon from them we're not likely we'll probably hear something monday uh november 20 what would it be 24th november 24th more than like i mean february 24th hopefully not november february 24th we will hear something from them i've been just really pissed off about trying to get this rtx 50 series and again uh, let me go into this whole amd thing because i do have some interesting information for those who are even thinking about switching over because honestly i don't blame you i could you're spending $2,000 on a card to have this mess. It's honestly not worth it. Don't spend the money, especially if you have the RTX 40 series already, in my opinion. If I'm getting the card because I just want to test it for everybody out there. For those who do want to build a brand new build, going with a RX 9070 or a RX 9070 XT, you can't go wrong with it, especially if you're more worried about budget, because here is more proof of it. Thomas on X has posted a very interesting benchmark that shows up to a 41 to 48% improvement. That's really good. And hopefully our DNA 4 it doesn't have to really honestly be a large improvement, but if the availability if the, avail av if the availability factor is there for AMD's RX 9070, then that is already a win, honestly. And if the card works, it actually works as intended, it works like a video card should, then you gotta honestly admit AMD would have to take this route. And Nvidia just blasted themselves in the foot with a shotgun. Fambian, guys, I will see you on the stream tomorrow. If you're there, I hope you're there. I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is into GPUs and PC and tech, make sure to share this video with them. If not part of the big, wonderful fan, man, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for all the newest updates. Make sure you follow my X channel right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. I think I'm going to go check out my... Uh, RTX 4090, just to check out the ROPs, make sure they don't go missing after this driver update. Thank you guys so much for watching.